This is lesson six, four in signing naturally, story cohesion, particularly as seen in timber. There are many subtle aspects of ASL storytelling that help the story be clear and understandable. And we will touch on a few aspects of story cohesion right now, particularly as seen in timber, but you will see specific examples of story cohesion as you watch the seven minute student DVD six four for lesson six four on your own as homework. So of course, part of any good ASL storytelling is understandability, right? When the, the story is cohesive and everything makes sense and all goes together, that's quality ASL storytelling. So let's look at some elements about story cohesion in ASL storytelling. Important elements in a clear ASL story include transitions, meaning raising eyebrows when moving from one part of the story to the other, engaging the audience, such as making eye contact, showing expression, et cetera, drawing the, the audience in, use of signing space, meaning keeping your hands more or less in the chest area, um, not going too far out, but keeping sort of control of your, of your signing space. And then something that is referred to in signing naturally as sticking the end ending, which I would call nailing it, like some sort of punchline or some sort of like wrap up right at the end. So um, we'll talk about each one of those four a little bit more in depth. So transitions, transitions are used to signal the beginning of a new segment of the story. So maybe, you know, Goldilocks is walking through the woods and then she goes, she sees the house and goes inside. That's a transition. Something has happened, right? So to indicate a transition, the brows and the head, so eyebrows and your head are slightly raised. And you can see examples of this on the student DVD 6-4 when you watch that. Uh, the next part, engaging the audience. So obviously use eye contact to draw in the listener or the watcher. While role shifting, you don't maintain eye contact because you've, come, you've become, become someone else. You're not the narrator anymore. In the role of the, the narrator though, make direct eye contact with the audience. Poor eye contact, such as looking down or looking away, breaks the connection with the audience. Engaging facial expressions and body language also engage the audience, drawing them into your story. For proper use of signing space in an ASL story, keep signs at the upper chest level when telling a story. When pausing, don't drop your hands to the side, but instead keep them slightly above the waist. You'll notice that when you see the signers on your DVDs telling ASL stories. All right, sticking the ending. ASL stories always have some sort of a punchline um, or, or, you know, big takeaway. So it's important to nail the ending. And again, there are specifics mentioned in your student DVD 6-4 where you can see some examples of this.